Jared, thanks for hanging around to talk to us. First of all, congratulations. It's your first European goal as well, Jared. How does that feel? Yeah, it's good. Um, I kind of scoffed one in the first half. Um, uh, but, but, uh, Jared, we, we, I weren't, weren't going to mention it, but... <laughs> <laughs> He I couldn't wait to mention go. it, Jared, when he heard you was coming uh, on. Hey, Jared, I've done that way. loads of times, Geese. Don't worry about <laughs> it. You know, when it's your, your standing foot and then you're like, oh, my God. No, no I don't know. Again. I don't know, uh, Geese. I don't. <laughs> but <then> even, <laughs> even the one where I scored, I probably didn't even hit the right finish and the keeper. I paid the keeper off, I think, to No, you don't, well, around, don't but, worry. You know, I, said, I think I said to Kev before the game that against Everton, I had a couple where Pickford, you know, made some good saves. And I said, I bet you'll score when I, you know, when I stop it. And then... You know, but you don't shoot, you don't score. And I, you know, I'm buzzing to first Europa League goal. Jared, it's Joe Cole. You've you've played a f on in three of the positions at the front. What's your favourite position? Is it centrally or just coming in off the left? Do you know what? I've, I always preferred obviously the right because that's where I'm natural. But up front, it's just you know I feel like you can just not do what you want, but you're like running in behind. You're playing both sides. You know, when you're on the right, you predominantly out there getting the ball cutting inside. But when you're up front, you can. You know, run down the left-hand side, shadow, run down the right-hand side, drop off, play through the middle. Um, and I feel like I'm improving playing in that position. Obviously, there's a couple of times when the ball came up to me, you know, as a target man, it's just not my game at all. And he just <laughs> kept heading the ball. But, you know, I think wherever, um, you know, I just, just love it playing. So, up front, right wing, wherever. Well, Jared, you've had an incredible journey. You were playing non-league football in 2014, and now here you are scoring on the European stage for a Premier League club. What does it mean to you? Oh, it's just everything, you know. Like I said, looking back and playing non-league, and I remember scoring my first goal at, you know, Alfred and um, to win 3-1 or whatever it was at 16-17, and then, you know, now to score in the Europa League, it's everything that I've dreamed of, and everything's just taken all part of my journey, and I'm just, you know, loving every minute. Jared, this Colton Cole here. Listen, I'm a massive fan of you, and I, and I know the way you play, you drag defenders about. Um, today. What was what was going through your mind when you didn't have that focal point of attack like when you usually have like Antonio up there to play off? What what was going through your mind? What was you what was your other game plan? I think my strengths is I like running in behind and I'd like to say I've got you know a turn of pace. Um, so you got to play to your strengths. You know when you come in to feet, that's what I was saying about being the target man. You you know you expect yourself to hold the ball up, but sometimes you know you've got defenders coming through. It just it's not my not my game. So it was kind of I think couple in the first half where Yama came in to that pocket with the left back coming with him, and then there was space in behind. And I think we got in the, down the the byline a lot in the in the first half. Um, so I think it was just like you said, adapting my game to where I was playing and playing to my strengths. I think. Excellent. Yeah, Jared, you scored 18 seconds in the start of the second half. What was David Moyes' half-time team talk like? <laughs> no, listen, listen, he was we knew that we needed not needed a second goal, but you know, when it's one nil and they had the goal disallowed in the first half and then, you know, they played some nice stuff and we're creating a couple of chances, but to score, you know, Issa scoring that header and then I think I scored quite soon after, which, you know, at three nil, you know, we're comfortable then and then we can you know enjoy the enjoy the ball a bit more, I think. Well, it's been really enjoying for all of us watching, hasn't it? There's such a feel-good factor at West Ham at the moment. Tell us what it's like in the dressing room. What's the mood like around the club at the moment? No, it's, it's unreal. Um, you know, I think every competition, if the team changes, they know what the players coming in, what what the standards are, what the manager expects. And I think you see from the performance tonight, it was a convincing 3-0 um, victory. And we got a lot of games. So there's going to be a lot of you know squad rotation and everyone playing their part. And I think that's the main thing. The whole group is ready to play, um, you know, every day in training, the standards up to the top because we, you know, the manager demands from every single player if you're involved or not involved. And I think that you can see when, like I said, the players that you know, don't play as much as they want come in and like tonight and we do really well. Jared, getting into the last 16s, um, what is your expectation? Are you, do you fear any other team to get, that you draw out now? What, 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 do you, what team don't you want? <laughs> no, I, I think the main thing is topping the group. Um, you know, the home games are vitally important. The man just told us that before. Um, winning all the, all the home games and, you know, we won two now. We you know, beat Zagreb away and I think if we can just keep strong, keep the confidence, you know, if we can go unbeaten in, in the group stage and going into the knockout stage is full of confidence and I think teams will be fearing us rather than us going in with a bit of fear. Yeah. I think we'll be the team to, you know, look out for and then, you know, you're only a few games away from a proper good cut run.
Yeah, it's been a very good start, hasn't it, Jared? And this win now takes you into a big game in the Premier League on Sunday against Tottenham, who actually lost in the Europa Conference League tonight. They made 11 changes to their side, but how good a place does it put you in ahead of that Premier League match, just getting a win here again tonight? That's the thing. We, we, we beat Everton on the weekend. We've built on that again. We've convincingly won 3-0 here tonight. And, you know, there's a game in three days or whatever it is so the momentum will be really good we'll keep pushing and you know we're winning games so that makes all the players just want to keep playing and keep winning and giving the fans the victories that you know we're putting the performances in